So now we've generated a bunch of reports. Our um, bookings are taxless. What we want to generate is our emails. Um, probably one of the things that takes you the most amount of time while uh, managing your rental is sending out individual emails, making sure that the contracts come in, uh, sending reminders when the balances need to be paid. Uh, with the Voyage um, Rental Manager app, you'll be able to get all that generated automatically. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that our preferences are set properly. So you go into the re uh, Rentals Manager and you click on Preferences. And uh, just go through it another time and make sure that your booking uh, percentage is fine, that your uh, balance due date, that your reminder, that your address, and that your languages are done. Because uh, once we start sending out emails, we want to make sure that all that information is fine. So once that's done, we're ready to generate all the templates. So you go into the Rentals Manager uh, menu again, and then you click on Initialize Templates. And it should take a little time, but uh, once it's done, uh, you'll have all your templates there ready for you to edit. edit. Um, I've done that already uh, to save some time in the demo. So I'm going to click on, uh, on my Google Drive, or you can go to drive.google.com and uh, go look at all the documents that were created. So in my Google Drive, I now have a folder with all the templates inside of it. So uh, since I had two languages, FR for French and EN for English, um, I, uh, I have all those documents created. I want to re rename those documents. I don't want to be sending out uh, documents to clients that say FR balance received. So just to give you an example, I'll uh, rename this, uh, this email right here. So I right click, I go on rename and I call it balance reçu. And this will be um, the title of my email as well. So I want to make sure that uh, for my balance reminder in French, rename that I give it uh, names that I'll be happy that my uh, emails have as a subject. So the subject for um, each one of these um, templates is going to be um, the title. So let's click on balance received, which is the email that gets sent out um, when the client has uh, sent us the remainder of the payment and so everything is paid. So in this email, he'll receive um, the numbers, uh, for his booking reference number, the property he's booked, the number of guests that he's told us that he was going to bring, the total cost, um, how much he's paid us, and how much is left to be paid, which should be zero. All of these things will be replaced by the software, so everything that begins with key, I want to make sure that I'm not replacing. Um, so key name is going to become his name, etc. However, if I want to change the text, I get to do that and it doesn't make any difference to the software. Um, so if I want to say, instead of saying we have received your final uh, payment, I can say I have received. And that will get sent out to the client. And then probably what you want to do is all this stuff down here is just uh, because the software is free of charge and it's all under the uh, open source uh, GNU. So I, I have to put it in there, but you probably want to take it out um, and then put your signature at the bottom. And this will get sent to clients. Um, and then with this email, we'll be sent a house manual as well. So now I can just save this and uh, the email will be sent that way. You can make whatever changes you want. So once all of these have been edited and it probably will take you a while, I mean, there's even the, the rental agreements in there. You can change your, your rental agreements. Once all of these have been edited, the next thing I want to do is uh, make sure that I'm not sending uh, doubles of emails to all the clients. So when I generated the templates, all the bookings that are upcoming uh, were put into uh, the statuses tab. And so I clicked on the statuses tab and the booking number is there and uh, with paid next to it. That way, um, none of those bookings that were entered 
uh, before will be sent emails to. However, if let's say I know that booking uh, 1890 um, has uh, still a balance and hasn't been uh, reminded yet, um, I, I can uh, change this status. And uh, so there's different statuses for each one of uh, the different states of a booking. When a booking has just been made, uh, the first thing that needs to get done is a uh, deposit needs to be requested. So I can put in deposit requested. Uh, once the deposit has been paid, then the booking is confirmed. So in this case, the booking is confirmed, but the balance hasn't been paid yet. And I know that uh, booking uh, 1886 uh, is not only confirmed, but he was sent a reminder that he still owes us a balance. So I can put reminded. And then let's say there's somebody who just made a booking and uh, who hasn't even sent us their deposit yet. Um, then um, I can just delete this information. And uh, the next time the, the booking engine goes through there, it's going to put in a new, uh, a new tag on it that's going to say uh, deposit requested. And that's it. Uh, once all that's done, I can go into the rentals manager and click on send emails and uh, all the emails will get sent out, sent out to all the, the clients. So all the new bookings that I add and uh, whenever uh, a booking has reached a state where let's say we're now 33 days prior to arrival, while well, the confirmed booking is going to be reminded that uh, he needs to send us a payment within three days to uh to settle the balance on his booking. So I think it, it'll help you save a lot of time. And the great thing is that you have perfect control over what uh, goes into your emails. Um, and it doesn't go through our website, it all goes through Google Apps.